We're going to move on now to less charted territory with Loa Condole or King Condalis. This is a ballet that Petipa choreographed right from the beginning. It premiered in 1868, one of the great exotic works, a very melodramatic plot. Uh, king Condole was king of ancient Lydia and throughout history was represented in writings and in art and in sculpture. In the 19th century as well, a historical fiction novel was published in the mid-century. This certainly may have influenced Petipa's decision to use the story of the ballet. He did keep up not only on what was going on in contemporary news, but also what was popular with the public, what was coming out in fiction, what was coming out in art, and he would take inspiration for his ballets from these varying subjects, and I'm sure that was the case here. The story concerns the arrogant King Condol and his corrupt wife Nisia and the warrior Gyges, who eventually takes the throne from Condole and so forth. So a very sort of heavily wrought plot. But throughout the ballet, as was often the case, are divertissements or entertainments whose pretexts have nothing to do with the plot of the ballet. And that is the case with this next dance. It's called Le Berceau du Papillon. And the women who have been who are going to dance this have been very gracious and working out this ballet with me. In the notation, of course, we get the steps, we get some instructions, but not always a motivation behind them, not always the sort of scene setting that will help us understand what's going on here. We have four women in the corps de ballet. We have one leading woman who is the butterfly, le berceau or the cradle or the birth of the butterfly. So we have a birth here of a butterfly, and we see that at the beginning, but this is a mischievous butterfly. The notation says she has to run from one to the next and hit them on the shoulder. Then she returns and she has to give them a hug. And so, of course, we're you know, taking this very seriously and trying to figure out what was going on. But realizing that wit is part of, is part of this uh, business as well. So uh, Lita Biasucci will dance the role of the butterfly, joined by Amanda Clark. Angelica Generosa, Leora Newville, and Carly Samuelson, all of whom have worked together with me to put this back together. And I think this is the first time it will have been danced in who knows how many decades. So please enjoy Le Berceau du Papillon. Thank you. 